I've now got to the stage where I'm tracing out uh, various values such as distance and height from the ground. So just to give a little bit of an indication, at the moment the red sphere is a point which is directly uh, straight ahead of the pawn. So at the moment this is going from the mi dead center of the pawn, so around about the hip. So that's measuring straight out. Now I'm measuring this to see if there's any obstructions. The reason why I'm measuring from the hip and not further up is if we jump, at the moment the height that I'm measuring the other two values um, can go over walls. Now this may not be a problem, I could change the wall but it may be a little bit restrictive on design. So at the moment this is just literally uh, trying to detect whether there's going to be a collision and how far away that is from the player. Now the intention is to use this so that if I'm too close to the wall the player will just continue to fire straight ahead much as it is now. Now this only will become an issue um, with slopes. So the other two spheres are indicating a position directly 90 units ahead of the player's head. So uh, at the moment when I'm moving around that's 90 units, or the blue sphere is 90 units ahead of the head. Now the purple sphere below is measuring where the ground intersects um, directly below the blue sphere so that when we get to a slope that height becomes less and less and less. Now we can use this um, using a mixture of um, in fact not even using Pythagoras we're using um, trigonometry here we're using a tan 2 to then calculate the angle so that when we're on a slope the player shoots upwards and when we're looking down the player can shoot downwards. So it's being used basically as an offset so that if we got to a point here where the zombies directly above us we wouldn't be shooting straight into the floor we could shoot up at them or we can shoot down at them. And then if we got to a point where there was a blockage towards the top instead of shooting straight up if there was a wall then it would shoot straight forwards. Um, one thing I'll just point out now is the use of the um, of the link gun I'm using has this strange fishing rod effect. Um, my intention is to use my own weapons anyway and at the moment this is just the, the, uh, the motivation I need to get rid of it now. So that's basically where we've gone from it. I mean it may not look like much but to be able to ensure that the player can shoot uphill and downhill without having to use any other control input uh, is going to be invaluable in terms of gameplay. So that's where I've got to at the moment.